Oh, are those prints? Now those are some really nice bed sheets. Hi, uh, today on Twisted Tech TV we're going to cover a couple of interesting topics about video. Uh, first, we're going to learn how to use one video player with a set of codecs installed on your Windows system to cover just about every video format out there. Then we're going to take a look to see how to get the best video quality playback on your Windows system using DirectShow. One of the problems we face today is that we have so many different formats for videos. See, we have uh, DivX, we have XVID, we have Mitrovsky video and audio, we have Og Vorbis, uh, QuickTime, Real Media, um, you know, you name it. So you need just about a different media player for every single one of those formats. Well, um, there's a way that you can actually consolidate all the various formats to play using one player. I personally use Media Player Classic. You don't have to use that one. Um, there are other players you can use for it, like Zoom Player. Um, but uh, you know, choose your player and install the codecs that you need. Uh, what I do is I use FFD Show, which covers just about everything under the sun. Um, it'll take care of all the various uh, DivX and XBID videos. Um, a lot of different types of AVIs. Then there's the Holly Splitter from Matrovsky that will take care of the Matrovsky formats as well as other AVIs that aren't handled by FFD Show. Then um, it also takes care of MP4s. And finally for other QuickTime formats other than MP4 and Real Media we're going to use QuickTime Alternative and Real Player Alternative. After you install all those on your system, you'll have a single player that can play every single one of those formats. Okay, I'm in uh, Windows XP and I brought up Media Player Classic. Um, I'm going to force this media player, uh, one of the many that's available in Windows, to um, play using Direct Show. So here we go. I'm going to go to View Options. And I'm concerned with the output. I'm going to go here and change the settings. Uh, you'll notice everything is under the system default. So I'm going to change that. Um, on my system, I have DirectShow 9. So I'm going to change the first setting to VMR9. Real media video, I'm going to make it play using DirectX 9. And the same for QuickTime video. Uh, for the sort of resizing, I'm going to choose bicubic, which is um, significantly better than bilinear. And I'm going to toggle the vertical synchronization so that I don't get tearing in my videos. I'm going to hit apply and that's it. That's how you get Media Player Classic to um, play all its video files using Direct Show. So let's take a look to see how Direct Show affects the video quality. Um, see how much better our video quality is. Now uh, on the left is the normal video playback and on the right you see the video using the settings we just applied using Direct Show. Okay, we hope you enjoyed the show about the uh, video quality playback increasing quality on your Windows system and how to get a player that can play just about all the formats that are out there. In future episodes, uh, we're going to fall back on some of the video codecs uh, that we uh, discussed, um, such as the FFD Show package. Um, that, for one, actually has a lot of functions in it. Uh, we'll go in there and um, we can show you how to get better playback from your DVD movies or uh, some of the compressed movies you've downloaded off the internet. So stay tuned for future episodes. Um, as always, show notes are on twistedtech.tv. And um, you can always email us uh, by visiting our website. Um, give us comments on our videos, and as always, uh, if you're interested in advertising, um, just uh, visit our website and um, drop us a line. Thank you for watching Twisted Tech TV.